Hey everybody, Andy from Tennis Euphoria, and this week I've been recreating on a budget and hitting with Emma Raducanu's actual racket. So you'd be forgiven for thinking that Emma is playing with a Wilson blade. It's tennis's worst kept secret that professional players will be endorsing racket lines, but they will typically or quite often will be playing with rackets that are not the retail versions that we can buy. They might be specific rackets to them, or they could be rackets that they enjoyed and developed with through their formative years and understandably don't want to move away from. And then they will be subsequently painted to look like those retail versions that we can all buy. So Emma is using a Wilson Steam racket. You can find out this sort of information from scrolling away on groups online. Often uh, professional stringers will share uh, information. There are clues when you look at Emma's racket. If you count the string pattern, it is a 16 by 20, 16 in the mains, 20 in the crosses, and you don't find that in any of the current blade lines apart from the 101L. You also notice that it has quite a distinctive, very low bottom string and high top string on the crosses. Uh, that could be one of the reasons that Emma shifts around her dampener, but also of course the W shifted around looks like an E. And also you'll notice that there are some different grommets in Emma's racket, which is very typical of a previous steam um, line called the Steam 100. So the Steam is a discontinued but previously popular racket um, by Wilson. Other professional players still use that, notably Simona Halep uses the 99 uh, 16 by 18 version, which I think would be a really uh, interesting review to do if I can get hold of one. Emma's version is 100 square inches, has that 16 by 20 pattern. So how does Emma's racket play? I actually quite enjoyed hitting with this racket. The Steam had a reputation for power and spin. I got hold of mine from an ex-professional player who sold me two of her old competitive rackets for 110 UK pounds. I string, obviously, so that labor was free, and I put Luxlon Alu Power in the mains and Luxlon Element in the crosses, which is typically what Emma has in her racket. That makes sense because the element will soften the full bed of, of poly a little bit. Uh, the professional player that I bought the rackets from described them as being loaded with spin and quite a lot of power. Uh, spin was the main thing that she described. And I have to say from hitting with the racket, this racket does offer more forgiveness, more free power, and definitely more spin, particularly compared to the Blade 98. So what can we take from this understanding? I think it's quite comforting to know that um, even some professional players will be looking for some help with power and spin. Um, it's probably useful to know that if you're looking to emulate the uh, racket that Emma is using, then it might not be the Blade 98 that you want to buy. You might want to look at other lines within the Blade family. The 101L is based on a previous steam mold and you could customize that to um, take the weight up and play a little bit more like Emma's specs. I've actually done a video on that process on my channel so you could check that out. You could also look at the Blade 100 uh, that would play probably a little bit more like um, Emma's actual racket. Or you could look at Wilson's up and coming Wilson Shift 99, the 16 by 20, 300 grams. That racket actually plays relatively similar to this um, Steam 100 that I've tested this week. And I think there's a lot of crossovers and there's a lot in the shift that's been taken from the Steam with new technology. If you're looking for uh, a similar playing experience from other uh, brands, then you probably want to look at the Yonex V-Core 100 or the Yonex E-Zone 100 to have a similar hitting experience to this Steam 100. So I hope that was useful and helpful. Obviously, most people want to emulate their heroes and play with rackets that look like um, their own. So you probably will um, get some benefit from buying that Blade 100 or the 101L if you're looking for something that plays similar. And of course the Blade 98 if you're a very advanced player with good technique and can generate your own power is an excellent racket for advanced players looking for control. Hope that that video was interesting and useful. Subscribe to the channel if you want other recreations of pro player rackets on a budget. And of course new racket reviews coming to you very soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.